Hey, what is up, guys? Today I want to show you a quick demonstration of my current progress, which is the snap building part. Ironically, it's nothing much to do with uh, the Z interior itself. But yeah, um, I'll be s I'll be sharing this code as well. Um, it's experimental. Please do not use it on live servers, guys. Okay? Um, it's uh, still still a little bit broken and the uh, action menus are not clearing up properly but yeah I thought you wanna see the code anyway and play around with it right so basically as a if this is the first video you see um, as you might have noticed probably is um, nothing much is changed really it's just an extension to a normal build system what I'm doing here is basically you can press F button and leave the object behind you and you can do the normal stuff with it plus you can rotate it 45 degrees and then you can enable the snapping oh, it snapped out automatically and uh, it'll automatically find the closest point to snap to um, maybe the ceiling is not the best thing to show right um, as you can see, uh, snap points are ge being generated around on different objects. Not all of them, just some of them, really. That one needs still be, yeah. That one needs fixing. Like that box doesn't have any, but like normally that box has. But the, the snap points, but it's not whitelisted, and I'll show you how the whitelisting works. Maybe. <laughs> so yeah, and you can see the sandbags are not affected by this object as well. Now if you look here you can see the points are becoming green as they clo uh, clo closing up in a distance. So I'm sure if you can see that. You can see these two points become green. That means they will snap if you press the F button. Same as these and or these. And we press F and object snaps with the direction of the current object it's snapping to. And then you can just you know adjust the rotation to it. It's gonna be perfect 45 or 90 degrees. So and then you can just pick it up to a different snap, maybe. You know, and once it's snapped you can of course also adjust the heights and all that good stuff. This is um this is part of the automatic, you see, snapping, snap auto. I sh I'll demonstrate the manual snapping as well. Let me just show you all the good stuff you can do with this. Um, so basically the manual snapping, it kind of lets you choose which pivot point you want. For example, we can choose the left one, that one needs fixed as well. Um, you can choose the top pivot right one uh, or the bottom one which is like the normal pivot called the names can be changed uh, in a config file to anything you want if, if you want to for example translate your config file for whatever reason so as you can see in the manual mode it does not snap once you click F But once you go out of a manual automatic one, it will snap with uh, the point of your choice. So let's say we wanted the top one only to snap, not not no, just the top one, no other points. Then it's for some reason it's still lit up. Oh, there you go. It automatically changes to that one instead. So yeah, basically you can see yourself. Um, as, long as, the, as long as it has snap points, it will snap to it. So you can combine different um, materials with different... Um, like uh, with the old snapping, for example, you couldn't snap uh, metal to wall. But this snapping method lets you do anything you want. You can even... Oh, hold on, let me just spawn a 
wooden wall. There you go. To demonstrate that you can snap ceilings and walls now as well. You see what happens here? Eh? It automatically snaps to the closest wall. But we don't want that. We want it, let's say we want it snapped on to the top point there, uh, but it's not. It's not letting us. It's like mathematical thing. It's, uh, it's <laughs> that's why I added the manual thingy. You know, there's not much I can do about it. I'm not really math math genius. Sorry. And we go automatic, and it'll snap there. Now we can just rotate it as we please. See how simple that is. Um, I guess I should do the ceiling as well just for the demonstration purposes go up enable snapping there we go oh, that's good um you can see the gap here that means uh, the snap points are not uh, definite and <laughs> they still needs fixing and it al it's also of of course due to how these objects were designed it's I'm pretty limited by that as well but you know well guess we could sort of like turn it around like this that should I think that should work no yeah I think I need to just move that snap point in a little bit mm -hmm. but you know these things are fixed easily and to build we just press spacebar it's not clearing the snap points <laughs> for some reason I think I forgot to oh no there we go and then um, actually means it's cleaned as well. So yay. I love the new infistar tool. <laughs> right. Um yeah what I wanted to tell as well, uh talk about is how the snapping actually works. The whole thing, like it's not really it it doesn't limit you to a certain object. You know, you can, you can, it can be any vehicle, including those racks if you want. It can be the house if you want. If, like for example, if you want this house to have some kind of snap points and enable for players to put walls around them or something, you can do that. It's not biggie. So you'll need to create some snap points there. If you want that, uh, you'll need to ask me directly in, in um forum, in the comments, and I'll give you the code for this tool to do the snap points. Let me show. Let me demonstrate you. The way it works is you select a target, right? Like for example, you see on the right hand side, land hangar is selected. You have this arrow in front of you. You can raise it. Uh, this script is created by Abel, by the way, the creator of Epoch Mod. So Abel, if you're watching this, thank you very much. It's tool is really helpful. So what this does is um, I'm also using some kind of item just because I want to enable or disable this menu as I please. Uh, it, like I, I can only enable what I actually want it. So for example what it does is uh, it selects a local um, position of the object in the world space. So for example it converts the world space into the selected object's uh, local space and that's how it's getting translated into snap points you'll just need to output it to a config file and to find these points you'll need to check your RPT log remember this is a local action right? so let's say tag position you can see it's uh, 3 meters 3.4 meters x to the left it is minus 11 which means minus y axis and uh, this z axis is 1.4 meters up um, where was I? yeah so basically you grab those points and you add them to a config file which I'll be showing in a second and then you can do the whitelisting as well <coughs> which uh, lets you select the objects you want uh, to snap to, snap to for example if uh, you don't want this hangar to snap to 
uh, ladders or la I mean ladder snap to hangar you will remove hangar from snap uh, whitelist of the ladders but if you want if you want want to be able to snap a let's say this cinder wall yeah you can add a hangar to wi its whitelist and the hangar will spawn a snap points around it it's as simple as that uh, let me demonstrate this little box if I find it just to demonstrate how the whitelisting works as well it's quite simple concept it's all about the inheritance really uh, I think that's the one I, d I did not do a gun rack wooden crate yeah so basically wooden crate can only snap to wooden crate and it will not snap to anything else these are kinda like uh, single objects they only snap to themselves edge is actually intended you can of course whitelist anything else if you want but I don't see really I, I don't really see the point of snapping these little boxes to <laughs> a wall for example so what I did instead is just let them snap to each other instead <coughs> just like that Hmm, did I miss anything? No. Right, now, um, in the next part, um, so basically this is it for the demonstration for those who are actually interested in just seeing the progress, okay? Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I'm sorry I was not able to show you yeah, the actual snapping with uh, Daisy in interior I was building, <laughs> quite ironically. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching then. And for the rest of you guys who was interested in actually in looking at the code and how it works and how I've done stuff and maybe correct me at some points, that would be actually very welcome. Any criticism would be welcome, guys. Um, if you spot something, let me know. So anyway, for you guys, I'm going to explain the code and how it works and what's going on in there.